3, starting at verse 14. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have become convinced of, because you know those from whom you learned it. And how from infancy you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. This is the word of the Lord. As for me, I'm going to shoot a little bit, because I don't want to try to stand up there and then fall over and embarrass myself and make everybody come and treat me like I'm somebody special. So I'm just going to cheat, and I'm going to talk to you from right here. So this morning, I have a very simple question for you. I mean, how do you get from Sunday to Sunday? I mean, spiritually. In, in your faith walk with Jesus, how do you get from Sunday to Sunday? One way can be found through our music ministries, as Jenny talked about this morning. Another is by participating in our Sunday school classes, whether you're a child or an adult. Although the focus of today's sermon is primarily about Sunday school classes, because that's kind of where I am in the church, I don't want to minimize the importance of our music ministry. I mean, have you ever tried to stay mad while you're singing a hymn or a gospel song? I mean, I tried it one time. Jesus loves me, this I know. It just doesn't work, does it? I mean, you just can't be sad and unhappy, angry and mean when you're singing a gospel song. And when you spend time singing, the others hearing you are filled with that joy. And when you're done, a lot of times you continue singing the songs. Or if you're like me, you kind of hum them and they buzz around your head. Something gets stuck in there and just goes around and around for a while. But, but that, that wonderful feeling that you have becomes infectious and it spreads to other people. Now, just as the seed of happiness can be found in music, the seed of faith is sown in our Sunday school classes. It's a place where we learn about God, and among other things, the importance of, well, church. I'd like to share with you a, a story this morning. It's a true story, and I did ask this young lady for permission ahead of time to share this story with you. Because when I heard it, it really brought home to me how impactful Sunday school can be for our children. As a little girl, she grew up in a small country town in the northernmost part of the United States. She attended a public school that had partnered with the local churches to provide a Sunday school class during the school week. And it was during these early years that she learned about God she had listened to the Bible stories that were filled with, with mystery and intrigue, with magic and miracles, all the love stories, and the triumph of good over evil. And even though she didn't realize it at the time, the foundation of her faith was being built. And her faith grew, she began to depend on God for everything in her life. It was in Sunday school where she learned the importance of attending church. But the problem was her family didn't attend church. But being a very strong-willed and determined child, she looked around and she found the closest church to her house. Now this happened to be five miles by car, but only three miles if she were to walk car across country through the woods to the church. So she decided to walk cross country through the woods to attend church each week. When wintertime came around, she would brave the snow and the ice and the 
sub-freezing temperatures, she simply would not be deterred. She went because she felt close to God in church. She could talk to him there. She could pour out her heart to him. Receive the love and encouragement and fulfillment that she needed. That's what helped her get from Sunday to Sunday. It was the, the teaching, the rebuking, the correcting, the training in righteousness that she received that thoroughly equipped her for the rest of her life. And it all started in Sunday school. And I'm here to tell you that I am very, very glad that she demanded that I marry her some 38 years ago because she's been such an inspiration to me all these years. The benefits of attending Sunday school are equally important for us as adults. The sad truth is most of us are pretty ignorant when it comes to the Word of God. We know many things about many things, but we don't know God's Word. Let me give you an illustration. There, there were two people, and they were sitting around, and they were talking about the Bible, and they were talking about Christianity, and the first person challenged the other. He said, well, if you're so religious, let's hear you quote the Lord's Prayer. No cheating. Don't open the Bible. No cliff notes, just from memory. I want you to, to quote, I want you to recite the Lord's Prayer. And I'll bet you, I'll bet you 20 bucks you can't do it. So the first person, now really motivated, took a moment, he thought, and said, Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. On the first person handed over that 20 bucks and said, I didn't think you could do it. <laughs> See, when, when we... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I normally don't try jokes. I don't pull them off too well. But I saw that in the, on the internet and I really enjoyed it, so I thought I'd share that with you. When we study the Bible, we find that it's filled with many mysteries just waiting to be experienced. See, we find angels and demons, giants and dragons, seven-headed beasts rising from the sea, iron axe heads that float on water, lifelong illnesses are instantaneously cured, the lame walk, the blind see, the mute speak, the deaf hear, and people come back to life. And if you think that your family is dysfunctional, well, I challenge you, read your Bible. You're going to feel a whole lot better about your family. But most importantly, you'll find forgiveness from a God who loves you unconditionally. Right where you are, no matter what you've done or who you've done it to. <clears throat> but studying the Bible isn't only the isn't the only reason why we attend our Sunday school classes. We also experience Christian fellowship. And this fellowship includes the rebuking and correcting of each other. In other words, it's the holding each other accountable for our actions. Because let's face it, we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. When we don't have other believers to fellowship with, to hold us accountable, to love us no matter what, we fail. Listen, when, when I rely only on myself, on my own inner resolve to be a very good person, I fail every time I sin. For example, there's times when I'm having this very innocent conversation with some friends. And then someone will say, well, did you hear what so-and-so did? And like magic, the dam bursts. And a tidal wave of, of gossip and hurtful speech and backbiting are unleashed. And I know what Solomon said about that. I haven't read the Bible. I know how God feels about that. 
My heart is telling me to just walk away. To not give in to this temptation. But I don't always feel capable of walking away. And I find myself right in the middle of it. You see, when I rely on myself, my own inner resolve, I fail every time. So how do you get from Sunday to Sunday? Spiritually. I mean, have you tried to go it alone? Yeah, I think we all have. The better question is, are you still trying to go it alone? Well, you don't have to. We have what, three adult Sunday school classes available. And we are here for you. We're here to help you better understand God's Word. We're here to love you right where you are, no matter what. We're here to help you grow in your faith, to become better equipped for whatever God has in store for your life. See, we want to help you get from Sunday to Sunday. Will you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you and praise you for your word to us today. We thank you for the opportunity to come here and fellowship together in your name. We thank you for all those individuals who give freely of themselves to teach these Sunday school classes, to lead them, to help bring your word to those who are hungry for it. Thank you for those who attend these classes who come with, with minds just waiting to be filled with your wonderful love and your words of encouragement and that accountability that we so desperately need. We thank you for your love, for your grace, and your mercy. It's in Christ's name I pray these things. Amen.